This Titanus, this secret so be a plan to crash the in seven days. This video is made possible by okay. Dashlane. Never lose a password Seems again by signing up with Dashlane for free at dashlane.com slash RLL. The Second World War was the most destructive conflict in human history. Over 60 million people died in the span of only six years, but at the yes. end of it, it only seemed to sow the seeds for another and even greater Third World War between the victors, the United States and the Soviet I'm Union. Okay. The difference was that if this war ever kicked off, the same number of people who died during six years of World War II would probably die during the first week of World War III. Both sides would eventually possess thousands of nuclear warheads capable of obliterating each other's entire countries. Nuclear. But in 1979, the Soviets developed a secret conventional plan to win the upcoming Third World War against the West, and they would do it in under two weeks. To understand how the plan would work, it's important to understand the political and geographic realities of Europe at the time. The continent was starkly divided between the two major superpower alliances. The Warsaw Pact in the East, consisting of the Soviet Union itself, Poland, East Germany, Czechoslovakia, Hungary, Romania, and Bulgaria, and NATO in the West, consisting of the United States itself, Canada, Portugal, Iceland, the United Kingdom, France, Belgium, Luxembourg, the Netherlands, West Germany, yeah. Denmark, no, no Norway, countries. Italy, Greece, and Turkey. Since both Austria and Yugoslavia were remaining neutral, this created an invasion funnel for both sides across the east-west German border, is and this is where Germany's geography becomes important. There are two major things to see here. First is the North German Plain, part of the larger North European Plain that's a large, flat, and open plain perfect for the mechanized units of the Warsaw Pact to blitz across. This would be the preferred route of invasion, but an advance Dance. through here would leave out the most major U.S. Air Force base in Germany at Frankfurt, which if not destroyed, would allow the U.S. to pour in reinforcements. In the way of the Warsaw Pact's advance towards Frankfurt are mountains in the east and the west, but a valley in between, known at the time as the Fulda Gap. Both sides recognized the importance of this valley as an invasion route into West Germany, so both had large military forces in the area. But the end game for everybody during World War III would be to both avoid total nuclear annihilation and to be in the stronger position when peace was agreed on to get better terms. Therefore, if you're commanding the Soviets, your win conditions are to grab as much land as possible from NATO in as short a time as possible and prevent the US from delivering reinforcements. And and if you're commanding NATO, your win conditions are to halt the Soviet advance and keep your supply lines Depends. open to allow the US to deliver those reinforcements. The plan that the Soviets developed to win the war assumed a first nuclear strike by NATO on Polish cities across the Vistula River. If NATO did this, it would prevent the Soviet army from sending reinforcements into East Germany and allow for a NATO invasion. Unlike the West, the Soviets assumed that nuclear weapons could be used in the war for tactical purposes without escalating all the way to full scale nuclear war. The Soviet plan was to kick things off with a limited nuclear strike against NATO targets across West Germany, Denmark, the Netherlands, Belgium, and Italy, but only because none of those countries had their own nukes to respond with. The Soviet plan was to avoid nuking France or the UK because they had their own nukes to respond with which could risk escalating the conventional war into a full-scale nuclear war. The plan then called to launch a full-scale conventional invasion of West Germany using the Soviet army and supported by Czechoslovak troops and whatever remained of the Poles. At the same time, and despite being neutral, nuclear bombs were going to be dropped on Vienna and other Austrian cities too to cripple the Austrian army before a surprise invasion from the Hungarians. This was meant to open up yet another invasion route into West Germany, while more tactical nukes would be fired across across northern Italy to it's secure their southern nukes. flanks and prevent a NATO counterattack. Despite a large part of West Germany being nuked by the Soviets, the Warsaw Pact forces were just supposed to surge ahead through the wasteland across the North German plain, the Fulda Gap and the new Austrian route. The Warsaw Pact fully expected to be fighting across and inside radioactive wastelands, but the plan was to continue on and surge ahead anyway to the Rhine River within seven days of the first nukes flying, which is where this plan gets its name, Seven Days to the River Rhine. 
But actually getting to the Rhine in seven days was an absurdly optimistic timetable. That would have made the Probably. Soviet army's advance the quickest ever in military history by a long shot. About 400 kilometers in seven days, or 57 kilometers per day. But the Rhine That's wasn't insane. going to be the end of the Soviet advance. They were going to press on and invade France. Once this happened though, the situation would be a little different in the eyes of the Soviets. France was a nuclear power, and despite just using a liberal use of nukes against other NATO countries, they were afraid that France would probably respond if it happened to them. So, the plan was to invade France conventionally and push on across to the border with Spain in another seven days after they had just reached the Rhine. Which is so fantastical, it's amazing that anybody thought this. The plan was to punch from East Germany to Spain in just two weeks, assume that nuking non-nuclear NATO states wouldn't escalate things into a full-scale nuclear war, and assume that the Soviet Navy using submarines could harass NATO shipping and reinforcements in the Atlantic mm. enough to prevent the Americans from landing it's significant submarines. reinforcements to help. Because that strategy worked out great for Germany the last couple of times. The reality is, if France was invaded by the Warsaw Pact conventionally and was about to collapse, after already being invaded twice before in the 20th century, they would probably at least use tactical nukes to destroy the Soviet army's positions and deny them any you further advances. So many tactical nukes would be deployed during this conflict that it's easy to see how things could escalate all the way into a full-scale nuclear yeah, war no at any point. Join. Overall, the plan to crush NATO in 7 to 14 days was a fantasy in the heads of the Soviet and Warsaw Pact commanders. NATO okay. in reality was fully prepared to escalate a full-scale nuclear war in the event of NATO member states getting nuked, whether they possess their own nuclear weapons or not. NATO doctrine assumed that an attack on one was an attack on all, which meant that a nuclear strike on one meant a nuclear strike against all. If the Soviets ever adopted the seven days to the River Rhine strategy in real life, regardless of who started it, it's likely that most, or rather all of us watching this video right now, would probably have never had the opportunity. The specter of nuclear war is not as terrifying today as it was then, but other threats to your personal well-being remain. Losing your password or having your identity stolen okay. may not be as completely earth-shattering yes. to the planet, yes. but it can be earth-shattering to you, and Dashlane can help. Dashlane helps you create different, super secure, nearly unbreakable passwords for every site that you use, autofills them when you go mm. to log in, cool. and protects them, and that's what Dashlane does. Expensive, except it's not. Mm. It's Good. free it's when you go to Dashlane.com. This was all imaginary. That was all. Yeah, Sabian, the plan was kind of insane. The NATO would definitely depend on That was all. All the nukes playing around in the world. As you build bed, they put all the world. Start the world, it will be unlivable. You know, the clouds foggy and all. We can barely recover from the when the sun will be took years to recover. Fantastic video, that's for sure. Yeah, we don't have no speed up.